Another Bond movie? Yeah! Another one. Bond don't sound excited. Oh, we've got Homeland now. We don't need Bond anymore. You've got Homeland, yeah. we don't need Bond? Yeah. Homeland's way better than the Bond what? movies. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. I went to see one. I went to see Casino Royale because they build it as it's nothing like a Bond film. It's totally different. And it was just another Bond film. What was a Bond film? Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you have an issue with a Bond film, it's, it's just a Bond film. These ones, they go, it's darker and grittier. Yeah, oh. it'd, be, it'd be darker if he had to get Ryanair flights everywhere. <laughs> Bond kneeling beside the check-in desk, stuffing underwear in his pocket. <laughs> Judy Dench for the premiere, 007 in Diamantes on her neck. And not a lot of people know, you actually, she had a vajazzle. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you could hear her coming. She was sort of crunching down the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for putting that image in my head. <laughs> In this one, he drinks Heineken, not martinis. That's the big sort of fuss has been made about the product no, placement. There's one scene, though, where he has to punch a woman and he switches to Stella. I've <laughs> 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 never understood product placement for adults. Like, in children's films, I can understand it, cos children just go, oh, I want that on a lunchbox. But, like, are they implying that men are going to go to a pub and think, well, I don't usually drink Heineken, but if I have a pint now, Everyone will think I'm James Bond. <laughs> My tip for a film. If you're making a film and you get a theme tune, get someone to sing the theme tune who can pronounce some of the words that are in the theme tune. What's, she, what's your issue with the theme tune? She cannot speak. <laughs> Is this Adele? Lovely Adele. I won't have a word said against her. Adele, what or as I'm sure she says it, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Three times I heard it, I thought it was a song about scaffold. Scaffold. <laughs> <laughs> I put forward a Bond theme and they didn't go for it. <laughs> well, well, that's a shame. What was what was yours? Bond on a bike. Bond on a boat. <laughs> Bond with his hands around a middle and throat. Skyfall. Skyfall. <laughs> skyfall. Skyfall. Da 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 da. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Is that the best dance routine, do you think, Louis? Well, that's plenty. Like that's plenty. Well, no, I quite like that, and I would have put a head roll at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Bond on the back, 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 bond on We're getting a new labelling system for food. Yeah. It's basically saying, oh, poor people are stupid. They go into a supermarket and they pick up Haribo Tang Fastics <laughs> and they think it's fruit. <laughs> <laughs> People know what shit food is. The reason they eat shit food is because they work all day in an office with people they hate. <laughs> <laughs> they're working in their job that they're told every day they're going to lose, and then they go back to a shitty flat that they can't afford to buy. <laughs> and do you know what they think? I don't fancy cos cos for tea. <laughs> do you know what I fancy? A mixing bowl <laughs> full of Viennetta and chips that I eat with my <laughs> fist. <laughs> What happened there? It was quite a depressing thought. And then at the end, you pulled it back with Viennetta and chips, and everyone went, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit food is the only joy some people get. And it's cheap as well. People don't shop, they don't buy bad food. They buy bad food because it's cheaper. They just go, Oh, shitty pie, one pound. Lovely. That'll <laughs> make me feel temporarily less alone. And it doesn't make any. <laughs> <laughs> The reason they call it a traffic light system is because it's the same as traffic lights on the road. If it's amber or red, you just do it faster and hope no one sees you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just confusing because the traffic light thing for me, I only think of them as like, you know, the traffic light parties where green means you're up for it. And I, <laughs> I accidentally f***ed a chicken wrap. <laughs> Familiar with the traffic light party? And what happens? You wear a green shirt if you're up for it, amber if you're not sure, and red if you're definitely out. <laughs> I've always been a bit of an amber gambler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so do you do you watch the calories? Do you watch what you eat? Uh, no, dancer? no, I just exercise, so I don't get fat. But the thing is, is now when people go shopping in it, you're going to be looking in their basket, and if they're full of red and they're fat, you are going to think you're greedy fat. <laughs> If they're, you know, if they're sort of going in between, they've got a bit of amber and a bit of green, you're like, mm, well, give them a go, do you know what I mean? If they're all green, then you know they're gay or in PR. Hmm? You cannot imply that only gay people eat vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'd have a lot of green.
green. <laughs> on Channel 4, the food hospital. The food hospital? People that are sick go there and they get cures with different diets and stuff, but it, it's really good for making you eat healthily or just not eat, because it's on at like 8 o'clock. So the last couple of times we've been eating and it's on, and they're doing this fibre challenge and they keep showing you different pictures of poo, like while you're trying to eat. So you're saying your dieting tip is it, look at pictures of poo well, while you're eating? Well, it puts you off your food. I think you want to go with a guy who's got more than one channel on his tip. <laughs> You come out of my house, we'll watch the football, we'll stick the Simpsons on, I've got DVDs. <laughs> I've got the whole works. If you don't like watching sh while you eat, well... <laughs> I'm your man. Uh, I got an iPad and the slogan should be, like a shit computer. <laughs> it, my computer does everything better than it. So the only possible use for an iPad then would be as a very luxurious chopping board. <laughs> and then maybe you could have a comedy playing to counteract the <laughs> onion crying. <laughs> and would say, either that or maybe I'll get six of them and tile my hole with them. And then when I go to answer the front door, it'd be like Michael Jackson and Billie Jean. <laughs> Rachel, are you going to get one of these? Uh, well, I had this debate with my husband a little while ago, but I still don't see the point of that, because once you've got one one size and the other size, then it doesn't do anything extra, does it? But I get his cast off, so whenever he buys a new one, I get the old one, so I might encourage him to get one. You get the old one once he's finished with it? Yeah. Aren't I'm quite You're earning, that. aren't you? You've got... You can... <laughs> <laughs> you know, do I need another one of a different size, or do I want to buy a pair of shoes? It's an, a bit of a no-brainer. Are we still talking about the iPod or your husband? <laughs> 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 If you need a smaller one, I'm willing to step in. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, do you, do you get dressed up on Halloween? I have. What, what, was, your, what was your finest hour? I, I think my pussy. <laughs> I've got... A cat costume? Well, because, of course, you yeah, were in... I was in cat, so I have the original magical Mr Mistopheles, so I slip him on and he's... You didn't go dressed as a pussy because that's terrifying to you. <laughs> 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 I was, I mean, I was, I was very surprised by it. It sort of seemed to appear suddenly about ten years ago. This um, excitement about Halloween. Mm. I grew up. There was no even mention of it. You know, it was just Basically regular. Satanic, there were satanic rituals. <laughs> <laughs> Go to and um, well, and then... animals and the youngest boy child of the village. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't call it Halloween in those days. We're very much about our Lord Satan and thanking him for a year of evil. <laughs> <laughs> but suddenly, somebody, thank you, brethren. <laughs> I'll see you at the next lodge meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be wearing the golden hooves. Um... <laughs> so how do you deal with trick-or-treaters, then? Do people come to your... Do they not come and knock on the door? They and get a cheery, lovely face? Yeah, give them sweets, yeah. Give them sweets. What? The weird thing is, you have a bowl of sweets and some kids just go... <laughs> and that's when, that's when you have to show them bad, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I like it now that... Cos you get cream eggs and then they start calling them scream eggs. That means it's time for Halloween. <laughs> But there's no other ones you can do. I've thought, I've written to all the chocolate companies. <laughs> the only one I've come up with is Boost. 